What up, Craft Lease? The holiday season is upon us, and you know what that means. That means Christmas movies are terrorizing our TVs and our streaming services. So with that in mind, let's make a wreath for our door for one of your boys' favorite Christmas movies, Dr. Seuss's How Does Grinch Stole Christmas. Now, y'all know how we do it. Let's keep that thing on a budget. I'm ready. Let's hop in. <laughs> it's Craftletics. Now, everything that I use in today's video, I'll leave links down below to where you can find it or something similar. But FYI, a lot of things came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, first thing you wanna do is grab our pool noodle and we wanna roll it into itself. Uh, you should have something that looks like this. But essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna help keep that round shape when we go to duct tape the ends together. Okay, now let's grab our printout. Now I'll leave a link down below where you can grab this, but also let's get our scissors and we can start cutting our shapes out of our printout. Okay, next I use the regular school glue glue stick to adhere our shapes to our felt sheets. I use green, red, and white felt sheets. Now let's grab our scissors again and we can start cutting our shapes out of our felt. Now you may have pieces of felt that act like they don't want to stay down. I just used a little bit of extra glue to help keep that in place. But essentially when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, next I grabbed my glue gun and I started gluing and wrapping my garland around my pool noodle. Now I used about six garlands for this. Okay, and when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. Then we can just arrange our shapes underneath our wreath to our liking. Next we can grab our glue gun and we can start hot gluing our shapes onto themselves. Okay, now we can take a couple of pieces of cut up cardboard and hot glue it to the back of our shapes just to keep everything kind of secure and stiff. Next, we can position our Grinch hand to where we want it and we can hot glue it to the back of our wreath. And when you finish, it should have something that looks like this. Next, we want to cut a seven inch long piece of string out and glue it to the back of our wreath. This way, the wreath will have something to hang on to the hook. I also added a couple of pieces of duct tape to add an extra layer of security. And when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. Next, I wanna take one of my ornament bulbs and I wanna hot glue it onto my wreath directly underneath the Grinch's fingers to make it look like he's reaching down and grabbing it. Now, I don't wanna glue all my bulbs on yet. I wanna hot glue my bow to the top of my wreath first. And once you finish gluing your bow down, then we can start gluing the rest of our bulbs onto our wreath. But I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to do it off camera because I know you got things to do you don't want to be all day. Now, before we check out the finished product, what's your favorite Christmas movie and why is it Jingle All The Way or Home Alone 2? Uh, now, speaking of Home Alone 2, your boy just opened his first Etsy shop and this is going to be over there. But y'all check out the front and we also got this bad boy over there too. So I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can go and check it out. But y'all, here is the final product. I really like how it turned out. It ran us about maybe 15, 20 bucks at the most. So we kept that thing under a nice budget. Now, if you like this video, please consider hitting that like and that share button. Follow Craftflex on all our socials, y'all. Head over Rules and Rogues. We got stuff over there. And like that, this will be the end. Peace.